what would you say is the reason of you know constant insurgency in the parts of northeast because there's something or the other constantly happening yeah the issue was that when you asked me what was important in north in the northeast mm -hmm. firstly it's a land bridge it's a strategic land bridge mm -hmm. secondly india's trade which today goes by the sea could go through the northeast go through burma yeah. go down to laos cambodia mm -hmm. thailand and move southward to that it becomes a very important bridge for india right. because as you are aware that in the second century the buddhism spread from india mm -hmm. across to myanmar or burma moved into laos cambodia which are now all buddhist countries so while we talk of the asean and we talk of engaging mm -hmm. all these countries all over india's periphery the most important part is that we were the ones who shared the religion of buddhism with them and it would give india great fillip if we were connected to them through a land bridge but connecting also means connecting the bad the countries of laos cambodia and uh, western burma are also riddled with corruption they themselves are going through a huge amount of insurgencies and of course it is the golden triangle for the narcotics mm -hmm. so if you are connected that means that there will be a large flow of narcotics into india which is at present a major problem in the northeast so you have open borders you have police border the assam rifles would touch the border but people still move through because of two reasons that between india and burma you have what is known as a 16 mile free move regime okay and the free move regime means that head loads can be carried for trade between the communities and there no visa required so along with this comes as i said the good comes with the bad mm -hmm. and you have been they have been able to smuggle in arms they've been able to smuggle in narcotics and a huge number of other illegal items into it now why is it permanently in a problem let's talk of the naga insurgency then we can spread ourselves to the rest of insurgencies is that 1929 you should have to actually everything has a background right right the nagas as i uh, showed you the map of burma the burmese empire never had the tribes of nagaland under them so when independence came it was only the british who had actually been able to dominate the tribes of nagaland so in 1929 the naga tribes went to them and said that when you leave us let it be a stand still agreement between us let us remain independent we have never belonged to anybody this land is ours but this land did not belong to any part of india before so leave us alone out of this but somehow the situation by the time independence came there was no choice of remaining independent you had to belong to one of the two dominions mm -hmm. and they were convinced through the hyderi commission uh mr hyderi was uh, was the governor of assam pre and post independence mm -hmm. who convinced them to on the permission of the jawaharlal nehru that they could consider being with india for 10 years after which they could decide whether they wanted to be a part of our country mm -hmm. one thing led to the other the choice after 10 years was withdrawn and therefore started the insurgency in 1956 an armed insurrection by the tribes of nagaland okay. for complete independence and from then till today we continue to fight